me and it hurts so bad. <laughs> Alright, Miss Mikey and Miss Regina, you ready for ready for Friday? Woohoo, it's Friday. Friday. You going out to eat lunch today? Yeah. Yeah. You got your money? Yeah. And you got your Mickey D's card yeah. that Regina gave you for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? Make sure nobody else nobody else gets their lunch on that card, just you. Yeah. 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 You tell them that's your card. Yeah. And you got it from Miss Regina. Yeah. Yeah, for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Dad said you have a new word. Can you say your new word? Say it again. I don't know. Is that what it is? I don't know. Say it again. <laughs> One more time. I don't know. I don't know. You've said that before to me, though, haven't you? Yeah. Well, last night she was saying something new. Let's see, when would, let's see, this is Friday. No, it was Wednesday night when you came home from church. Dad said you had a new word. It wasn't, I don't know. She says Igawawa. But this was, Achawawa. But this was like Igawowo. Igawowo. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. Was playing, it was playing off words. Can you, can you say that? <laughs> Igawawa. You're so funny. Girl. You're so funny, you are. I uh, You know? You ready to get your coat on? Yeah! You know, a lot of people that watch you, they love your coats you have. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. We're going to get the brown side today? Yeah, because yeah. she's got brown in her sweater. She's got a hat in there, too. No. Christian got her a hat. Oh, that, that knitted, uh -huh. that colored knitted one? Uh-huh, and it fits, it fits underneath her cape. Well, she's got you all wrapped up. Look at there. She's got that, got that tied up there on top of your head. Yeah. You look snug as a bug in a rug, you do. Uh -oh. Yeah, do you feel snug as a bug in a rug? Yeah. Do you know what a bug in a rug feels no. like when he's snug? <laughs> yeah. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do tomorrow? Just hang out around the house? Yeah. I yeah. can't remember what we're actually doing tomorrow, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gina, what are you doing? Being here. Oh, you're in, oh, that's right. You're here for two shifts, right? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Morning and afternoon? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got your nose. I got your nose. Now, did you put mittens on her? Hmm? No, they complain. They say she can't operate her chair with mittens. Okay. Those are her gloves right there. What's your hand, baby? Yeah. I know. I always make you change stuff, don't I? Yeah. Well, first time. <laughs> <laughs> they recently complained to me. They said she can't. She almost went off the sidewalk wearing the mittens. They said she just can't control like the the knob with her mittens, so she has to have the gloves on. Now this hand right here is kind of hard to get the gloves on. Relax. Fingers in the gloves. Relax. Stretch your fingers way out. <clears throat> oh, I hear a kitty cat. Yeah. I hear a kitty cat romping around. Hey, Miss Lilybug, see how skinny she is? Yep. Oh, no, I guess you can't see how skinny she is. That is a pretty bright hat there, kiddo. I go. You do, huh? Yeah. That's very cute. Christian got that for for Christmas. Yeah. Hey, Tarzan. What you doing there, big boy? Miss Lillybug. Bobo has an itch. Hey, Bobo. Hey, Bobo. Bobo. Oh, gotta lay back down. He's tired. It is a Friday morning. They cut open that spot underneath my arm. It turned out to be a boil. I have a whole story for you, but I seem to be fine this morning. And I got up really early, and I'm dressed, and I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I'm cleaning the house. All is well today. Now let's take a look at yesterday. 
My dear friends, I am in so much pain. I just went to the doctor and he said that I have a boil in my armpit and so he lanced it and it hurts so bad. They put, or he put, something that they just rub on there, I guess. I don't really know what they did for pain, but it wasn't very much. And he said, you know, I wish that you were some mean-spirited old smoker, somebody that I wouldn't mind putting the knife to, but not you. It was really sweet. He didn't, he didn't want to put a knife in me. <laughs> he did tell me that your armpit is one of the, um, one of the most painful places to have a knife in, and it really hurts. So he gave me an antibiotic of penicillin for 10 days. He gave me a script. They called in the antibiotic and then they, the, the antibiotic and then they gave me the option to get painkiller. It's hydrocodone. Hydrocodone always makes me sick. I don't care if I eat ahead of time or not. So I debated on it, but it hurts really bad. So I got to the pharmacist. We're in January, so we have to pay for everything until we meet our deductible and then everything is free. And it was less than four dollars and I said yeah go ahead and and fill that because at least for right now I need the strong stuff and I may not need it again tomorrow he said he would expect this to bleed for a few days and bleed quite a bit um, he said after he lanced he said now now the best way is for me just to do it in one big squeeze to get everything out of there and I said, uh, well, I didn't really say anything. He said, I'll take that as a yes. And then he squeezed it really hard. Oh, it hurts so bad. Ah, it hurt. It still hurts really bad. It stings real bad. And I have to... Oh, wait, the radio came on. Hang on. I was sure I turned that radio off. For copyright reasons, I have to have it off. I can have up to 30 seconds of a copyright song on my channel without having any problems the other thing he told me to do is 90 minutes per day of the hot pad under my arm because I was using a hot compress a few days ago but it wasn't really doing very much he said he prefers me to use the hot pad either three times a day 30 minutes or I can do it all at one time but it needs to be 30 minutes a day underneath my arm so I am ready to go put my jammies on and go get the hot um, the 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 um, the heating pad first I'm gonna get me something to eat so I can take my medicine then I'll go get my jammies on then I'll get the hot pad and then I'm gonna be still because this really hurts <laughs> so he kept he asked me you know how are you doing I said I said I'll be all right I said it really hurts and then when I left he met <clears throat> excuse me he met me in the hallway and he said he said how are you doing and I said it really hurts but I'll be okay he said well I know you're gonna be okay and he just had this pained look on his face. He just hated seeing, hated doing something to me that would cause me be, be, to be in pain. It was very sweet. We just took Reagan in a few weeks ago, so it seems like you know we're in there really regular. So we we um, so he knows me pretty well because I've been in there so much. And he explains everything really well. I asked him about one more thing. The last time that I was in, which was a few months ago, he told me that I had an S three sound in my heart and I came home and looked it up and it didn't really matter unless you were over 40 well I am going to be 52 in about two more weeks I asked him to listen to my heart after he did this under my arm and I reminded him of what he heard and I asked him what it meant so he sat down and he's very thorough in his explanations I wish I could use both my hands to to explain the way that he did but ultimately when we get to the end of the explanation it's probably part of the valve is closing a little bit slower than the rest of the valves in there. So there's just something that's just running a little bit behind and it makes this sound that they call S3. He told me not to worry about it. It wasn't a big deal. But if anybody ever asked me, do you have that S3 sound, then you can say yes. If anybody asks you if you ever had a boil, then you say yes. And I told him that a couple of years ago I had a stress test. Maybe it's been a little bit longer than that. Been maybe three years ago. But I've had a stress test, an ultrasound, whatever it is they do where they're checking your heart. And I came back perfectly normal. There were absolutely no problems. The cardiologist 
Is that the guy that does that? He said that I didn't ever need to come back to him unless I had a problem. So I was wondering why I would have a problem so soon when nothing in my life has really changed. All is well with my heart. My arm will be better soon. He said if I'm not better in, I forgot if he said seven or ten days. If I'm not, maybe he said seven days. If I'm not better in seven days, then I need to go back. But he expects everything will be fine. So this is what has happened to me and why I had that. Oh, one other thing. I asked him if I would have come in sooner, would it, would it have made a difference? He said maybe. He said that if I would have come in on day one, he wouldn't have done anything. He would have just given me an antibiotic to see if it would go away. And then if it got worse, then I would have to come in. It would have been lanced anyway. So probably, even if he would have seen me on Monday, he probably, I'm guessing by the size of it, it was three times bigger on Monday. On Saturday, it was less than the size of a pea. And on Monday, it was three times bigger. So I'm guessing he would have lanced it even on Monday had I gone in, but maybe he would have given me the antibiotics. So there's really no way of knowing, but this was just the soonest that I could get in based on his availability. And I asked him what could cause this boil. He said, sometimes they just happen. He said it could be caused by a hair, a hair that would grow maybe sideways and then it causes an infection and then your sweat and then your body trying to fight it off etc etc all the things there there are a whole bunch of things going on at that time and in the process of all this it turns into a boil so it's possibly it's possible that it was caused by that and that is my whole story of having a boil under my arm and it, it hurts so bad <laughs> so i'm going to go in and I'm going to take care of myself. You take care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.